y'all not coward. Y'all being real about what y'all doing. So. Back in this bit, oh God, man, I'm talking about podcast medicine, man. We doing the same shit, man, just motivating the real ones, you know what I'm saying, through the knowledge, through the experience, through the shit that we see, we hear, and bringing it to y'all, man, on a weekly basis, Tuesday and Thursday, 7 p.m. I know we supposed to get in there on some other days and shit, right. shit been a little shaky. Boy, y'all don't understand how much time going to this shit, but right. yeah, man, we working on it, but like I say, for right now, and Stone, you know what it is, 7 p.m., Tuesday and Thursday. I go by gas to hate him, man. I'm Mr. Meter, the instigator, brother. Thanks, Lord. Back, 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 back with another one. Another one, another one. Like, we got to get straight to this because this is important. This, I think this is the fakest shit ever, bro, because I'll break it down. I'm talking about, you know, BG had went back to jail and, you know, they revoked his privileges on social media, saying certain shit, doing uh, songs, videos, but just... I'm like, damn, bro, nigga in the halfway house, bro, nigga knocked down the whole woo, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, bitch, I'm at the end of the, you know what I mean? Like, right. come on, man, I'm like, I'm in the halfway house doing halfway home shit. You right. don't want me to do nothing? Yeah, almost like they want to um, break him down to, like, go get a job. Like, they want to, like, you know what I'm saying, just kind of make it extremely hard for him to a level where, you know, make it degrading for him to a level where, Nigga, go get a job. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what we want you to do. Not, but, but his job is doing music because that's what he was doing prior to when he, called his, when, he, when he called his time, you know? So, and this dude been doing this shit since 12, 13 years old. I know. Yeah, you know, uh, like, I doubt if he ever had a nine to five type job. You know what I'm saying? Dude been doing music since, you know what I'm saying? A little, little kid. So, you know, it's just fucked up that they trying to railroad him in that type of manner. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, other artists have come home and they rap to get right back to what they've been doing. You know, they was on some shit about you can't be around convicted felons and talking about uh, Gucci Man and Boosie and people like that. And I'm like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's some regular shit, but, man, you know that. Like, it's, it's you got to take in consideration that you pe- the people you're talking about, they are celebrities and they are stars like me. So you got to take that in consideration. Yeah, they is a felony by law. I don't supposed to be around. Man, you see what type of lifestyle these dudes li- uh, live in. They're right. not doing no negative shit, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, if anything, these dudes really trying to guide me on the part of the road. The people who I am rocking with, that's why I'm choosing to rocking with them. Right. Because they done went through some of the shit I've went through. You know what I'm saying? And most likely they're trying to help him navigate back into society the right way right. they're doing music, you know? So it's crazy that, you know, <clears throat> they put them type of stipulations on him to uh, to hinder him moving forward in what he do, you know? Um, it's just it's just the system, bro. Like, and then know? that's the worst thing, bro, you could try to do to a person that moving like that, that Kelly, but just coming home, you're trying, to, you're, trying to, you're trying to, like, cut all that off, you know, all the love, that a person getting all that, cause you come on, man, you somebody sit behind the desk. I'm talking about you talking about a nine to five, bro. I'm talking about, bro, what I could make in one show, fucking around, be your whole salary for three years. Right. They don't like that, right? You, you yeah, understand? Yeah, all that play a part. Yeah, right. I'm coming to work. I got my my my, my, my wife cheating on me. I just found out she was cheating on me. The tuition busting my ass. I'm going to work. I'm taking it out on everything. Man, shit ain't right. Like I. Right, they, they, it's like they, it's like the uh, the teacher with a pen, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you zeros, Fs, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you're doing. I'm just gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fail you, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because I'm in position to do that, you know. And I just think that they using their power the wrong way. You Nick, know? I, uh, rougher restrictions than gangster and fucking young boy. Right, real talk. I'm doing do videos. Yeah, they can still and- do everything that they want to do, interviews, anything that they want to do that. Go in the guidelines of what they was doing prior to going to jail, they can still do it, you know. But that go back to Louisiana, bro, and that's what it was. The, New Orleans, yeah, the, the, it's that Jim Crow that mindset shit, that they have, you know. what I'm saying of trying to break us, like you know, what I'm saying because you know I could see if he was violating some kind of way where y'all saw guns around him or drugs around him or anything like that to where y'all be like, this is why we violating him because of 
we saw the gun in here and we saw some drugs right here. But nah, man, man, just making music, something that he been doing prior, you know. So, you know, what they want him to do, come out and be a preacher? Right, right, right. You see the fucking views going up. Oh, no. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. You see the fucking views going up, stopping right now. That, man, just, it always been like that, bro. Like, even on the, <clears throat> on the books, like, this, this, uh, Louisiana, but New Orleans alone, this shit go down in history. Right. I'm talking about the conviction rate. Like, right. bro, I'm talking about, they probably got, I, 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 I heard that at one time, so I know at one time it was. I'm talking about the highest convicting rate, so that go hand in hand with the most wrongly convicted. You know right, what I'm because saying? You know everybody that they convicted wasn't just wrong. That's why you Not got the highest, the highest Come because on, you're just man. convicting everybody that you could possibly convict. Right? Yeah, we need him because he controlling that, and we gonna give him a probation, but we need to, you know, swap him out. You know what I'm saying? This right. is the favor for we gonna get him probation, but we gotta sink him. That was all going on back then. Do you think? Um, they strickening up to the level of what the governor is trying to do with the, you know, the probation and parole thing. Like, they're just trying to enforce it way before the time because I think that's supposed to kick in in, like, June or something like that. But it look like they're just strickening up on the laws, period. Like, you know what I'm saying? Anybody they can put, you know, this is a high-profile case. We're trying case. to put you back in there before, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know. You it, out on probation and parole. Yeah. <clears throat> so the people who are on probation and parole already, when they start, what, they just stay on probation and parole? Or I, I, I don't know if they uh, grandfathered in, like, because they called their time before. Grandfathered in on probation and parole is crazy. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, but, you know, meaning, like, you know, meaning before this law. You're you an know, old nigga for real, nigga, yeah. she grandfathered in yeah. on probation and parole. That's Damn crazy. it, that's, 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 that's when you called. look at it, that's pretty much how it is, you know you, what I'm saying? You, 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 the, the new laws don't abide by you. Yeah, you, abide by you because. You grandfathered you, in. Yeah, you, <laughs> you got caught before, you, you know. You got so. caught before a boy <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, you know, so it's crazy, you know. But, you know, this is a red state, bro. And, uh, you know, they just, you know, I guess trying to go, they move on high profile cases, you know what I'm saying? Like, like even with the C murder, all that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just more like, bitch, we trying to, you know what I'm saying? Make it, make it known here, you know what I'm saying? And they use people or those statues to be like, if we could do it to him, you know, you ain't got a fighting chance. Right, right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Shit like that, you know? And, and it's like, it seems like it get harder at the end because, I don't think BG got too much more time than the time that he did do. Like, did 12 and something, so I'm probably thinking he had a 15 or something. Probably did, probably 85% of the time. Like, right, right, you know what I'm saying? So whatever it is, bro, like, it, it can't be too long for me. Like, you just can't fuck with me at all. And that's all nigga trying to do anyway, man. I'm just trying to survive this parole time, man, and, and be on my way. But how long, um, do you know how long he was, uh, Supposed to be in a halfway house like that because that look like it, that's it, a long. It be the term. Rema- yeah, it be the remainder. Oh, the whole remainder yeah, of yeah, time yeah, is halfway. Be, yeah, it be the remainder. Because I I've, I've heard that's people rehabilitation. Be, but I've heard people be in a halfway house for ninety days or it might be know. their last ninety on they you know what I'm saying on a good time on a good time that, that, that's what happened to me like I went up for parole I only had ninety days left they grabbed me uh a work release you know halfway mm-hmm. house for the last ninety days but. You always go up parole 30 days before, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I had a fight in the midst of waiting to for, for, for a work release to come open and shit. I said back? It was over. It, 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 it canceled that. So I just did the remaining 90 days in DCI yeah. and just came home like that. Damn. Damn. You ain't going. I can't sit. Nigga ain't going to a halfway house for a certain amount of time and then go home. No, you're going to just do the remainder of your time in that halfway house. Because that's what it's about, rehabilitating, getting a job, you getting some money before you enter back into society, society right. fully. But he should be, you know, going back into society the way that he he, he, he went to, before he went to jail because that's what he was doing. Fuck, I was a, I was an artist. I, I, I created music. I, and it's the type of music I was doing prior to going. And, you know, how can that be a violation to... So nigga probably got to respect that part, like, just, like... You might have to get a nine to five until they can get all the way free. Like probably so. I mean, but you, do you think it, you know when he when he got on um, parole that they had those type of restrictions already in place? Like you can't do this. They, they you think they, they it's like they're making shit up as they go because if, I, I think if that was the guidelines, nigga probably wouldn't have did. Yeah, because he'd have been like, I, I would have knew what the rule is. I can't like, I know, do nothing right yeah. now. I can't do no videos. I can't. I knew I couldn't leave the state. So we, that was understood, you know. He, he, everything coming to me. Yeah, he, everything I did came through it. Right, came, came to came me. Shows everything, like everything came. So I didn't violate on no level by leaving. 
you know, and 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 I think you have to check in with your, you know, uh, parole officer or whatever like that to find out what you can do and can't do. So if they grant you the right to do it, then where where, where the violation at? You know, because they got to know what I'm doing. I got to report to them. I know that I ain't just in the halfway house and I ain't got to check in with nobody. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. Kind of got to let them know what I got going on. Man, go to church every you Sunday. Got curfews and everything. Yeah, you go to church every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what more you want me to do? Right. The only thing I can see is they want you to go get a nine to five yeah. job. Boy, come on, splurge. They got these big old dogs and shit. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. They trying to slow a nigga roll, bro. But I be on some shit. So what if you came home and got a contract with a with a you know signed a deal? That's a job. Now nah, that's my job. They want me to still produce, yeah, like I'm you know. Filling out taxes for this, right? I got these people want money. They invest in money. They they gave me a contract. They give me a certain amount of money. I got to produce for them. They it's crazy, bro. It just sound like some shit. They that want they just, me to make eight hundred every two weeks. Yeah, that's, that's, that's foul, but it's just they, they putting them in a a bad position. Like you know, what I'm saying almost like they want you to. Violate another way by Don't even hustle. talk about it That's violating Don't even talk about yeah, it Can't get on social media Can't you Well know. I'll talk about it For you fuck yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying Right We'll talk about it for you We'll talk about it We got you G You know what bad We got you BG bro yeah, You know what I'm saying You heard what Frida said The whole fucking New Orleans Is corrupt Right <laughs> And Frida, Frida said, said that, that. <laughs> Facts <laughs> Real talk, you know. So I saw a lot of people uh, speak out for him. Like you know, uh, I saw Boosie speak. I saw Junior, you know, talk. I saw uh, Finesse two times. Like all of them, kind of like you know, try to speak. Is there any type of petition or something like that that the people could kind of like put out to try to be like you know y'all wrong or we as the people stand? You know what I'm saying for you know unjust something. You know what I'm saying like something we could probably <laughs> petition violation. <laughs> if, if, so if you try to do a petition like you just automatically probably try to violate you because you're going over their head or trying nah, to go over their head. Shit, but yeah. yeah, man. Shit. You, you you never know what to work. You know what I'm saying? It just be about getting the attention on letting them let let really that's that's the main thing is about getting the attention, letting them know that people are aware what you're trying to What's do. What's going and on? That, right. And that's and that's you know, I don't think it's nothing to sign to change that nigga just the awareness. Like, when, when people do petitions, it's like kind of being like these, you know, they'll say certain things can change if we can get 25,000 people to to agree with this or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So the people do have some type of power with that's the whole reason they do petitions. It ain't just to bring a the I be saying that, that people. 25,000, be saying that 24,000, say, yeah, we get 90,000. Yeah, man, they keep changing the motherfucker. Right, but you know, I think once it's in stone, like as a, a certain number, then that's that is the number. Like you know, what I'm saying, you just if you got a good lawyer, you know, I hope uh, BG got you know a strong um, lawyer team that can kind of like you know help him out, and you know, what I'm saying, because I hate to see the brother go back to jail. I don't care if it's three years, three months. You know, what I'm saying, it's just bad to. Uh, you don't want to have it for three have, hours. Yeah, yeah, they have to go back. You know, like you say, he went in and they, you know. They, they arrested him You know what I'm saying He was like I was in jail the other day You know what I'm saying I'm like damn You know what I'm saying You know so You know We gotta Bring some awareness To what's going on bro And if it is a petition That need to be signed You know what I'm saying like, Got a little taste of the it. love So it let you know How it gonna be When you really really get free yeah. Don't trip You know what I'm saying Just fall back Lay low You know what I'm saying Go ahead and knock The rest of your woo down And come out even stronger man yeah, you know, people know what's going on with keep you. Keep writing, man. making music. Yeah, keep writing, making music, you know, whatever. But I'm 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 just fucked up with the whole level of they all on the man. Spotify, like I mean just everything. Like everything that he gotta do with music that he used to make money with, like they saying it's a violation to what he you know, I'm like I was saying that in the chat. This nigga, you know, this nigga older nigga say Spotify, you. Spotify, <laughs> Spotify. Yeah, I saw you say that. The other yeah, day. I said, nigga say Spotify. I said yeah, Spotify. You know, nigga, the fuck up. You know, you know what players fuck up too. Yeah, play, I mean, you know what I mean. You know, all that shit new to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that shit new to me right now. You know what I'm saying? Fucking like, SoundCloud. What they had with you? With, with, they, they had nothing to put your shit on, but like for no media, because they had no CDs media, and no tapes. media, huh? Like no, nothing. They didn't have none of that. But fat, fat, and all that. I mean, that's the uh, television or whatever. Like, yeah, you know, that's the only media that they had. Like, you know, uh, only media they had was fat, fat, and all that. Were you in the radio? Q ninety three, huh? Well, that was still Q ninety three. Yeah, Q ninety three. No, that was the only thing. Just had uh, at the time while Wayne was the host, he was the first host. 
For for fat fat. Why he was doing Q ninety three? Yeah, well he All never right. stopped doing Q ninety three. Like he's been doing Q ninety three since fucking out of college somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So uh yeah, that's that's what he was doing. But that's the only media he had was radio and fat fat. You know what I'm saying? That was the only thing that we had. The other promotion you had was you. Posters out there, street team, that type of shit. T shirt. Street team shit was real. Yeah, that was I seen niggas coming through, boy, 20, 30 niggas with that shit. Like whatever you promoting. Right. On long black tees. Mm-hmm. They just pass up your to your knees. I saw a dude maybe twenty years later going to jail, he had a big boy record shit on. I said, Damn, look how long that shit go for. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, some people get away from that, but that go to show you that that shit's still effective. Like, you know, I just think people find out a, a easier way to do something and, and stop doing the other right. shit. Like, do all that. Like, that you know bitch what I'm saying? 10,000 watches. Yeah, <laughs> right. That, that nigga, that nigga with still had that bitch on. That nigga was going to jail with a big boy record shirt. I think it was a G Slim t-shirt, but I, I saw the back of it for sure. It was, because uh, it was green. So I, I, I knew the green ones. Uh, them big boy fucking t-shirts was, man, they, man, y'all must have had 10 means of them bitches, though. Man, Chuck used that to buy shit them bitches. was flooded. Used all to, colors. Yeah, just all colors. <laughs> By the tons. That nigga did boxes be. and boxes and then to just give it away. It was never for sale. Was, never for sale? He never sold none of that merch. He would just give it away. Like, you know, that was promotion. I don't know how I got one of them bitches, but we had one of them bitches. I was like, you know, because we used to do in stores and things of that nature. So, meaning we'll come to a record store over here or anywhere that they got a record store. And then people come in to get CDs and they just get right. T-shirts. My with big them, brother, yeah. my, my, one of my big brothers probably got that bitch for me or something. We go to concerts, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just giving them out at the concert. Like, yeah. Right. You know, I had a real one. Shirt. Everybody you know, wanted to shit. shit. I know that wasn't no G Slim shit. Yeah, man. I know I know nah, the red one yeah, wasn't G Slim, yeah, because that, yeah. that nigga that nigga that nigga was being sorted. Like, mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. shit was everywhere. Yeah, that was the time, bro. So so since since we're talking about that and the shit we were talking about and the music in New Orleans and the support. So back then you said they had Fat Fat and they had the radio. So how supportive uh, how 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 helpful would that be to artists now, Freddie Hill? Uh, uh, not really. I mean, it ain't that no more. I think all of it still works. Like you know, what I'm saying to a level, any any kind of way that you can put promotion out, you should be doing it and being more innovative and trying new shit. Like somewhere like how we saw Turk with the book sack on. You know what I'm saying? What? With, the, with the shit going <laughs> yeah, yeah, crawl, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So any you know, like you said, that's a walking billboard. You know what right. I'm saying? You 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 go anywhere. You know you can advertise whatever you want. So. I just think that people need to use every avenue that's possible. Like, you know, don't 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 stop thinking that the street team don't work. That's still touching real people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like people don't got into social media and thinking, once I put my flyer up, that's cool. Then they beg you to repost it and repost right. it. But people see that shit, but you gotta be touching people, like, you know flesh. what I'm saying? Getting out, boom, boom, he goes shirt, he go, woo, woo, woo. yeah, such and such. He go a snippet of the C D. They don't even do snippets, nothing like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing that we once did, you know, it was almost like the game got a little lazy with we don't have to work that hard. And then that's maybe why we don't see as many people popping off or, you know, getting known the way they did that, that we got known back then. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw, like, even in the, uh, the the stuff that's been going on with everybody talking, they were just saying that, um, you know, all this just – don't do the same thing that they once did before. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just totally got away from it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I, I look at that as just like, it's a lazy side because, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to put in the footwork. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just try to find the, the easiest way to get get the shit out. You're like, you know what I'm saying? I still think the best way is touching real people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I heard in the comments, I, overall, they see we're talking about the support from New Orleans. I seen people was like a hit. I saw some one person say a hit ain't made, it's, it's marketed. So, all the shit that was going in the comments, which you even t- get, you know, get out all, all, all that shit as a whole. I'm pretty sure you read them just like I did. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I heard that post, but I, I, I'm like, a hit is a song that people just, like, they hear it, they like it. You know, it's, just, it's much easier to work than a song that nobody really, like, checking for or like like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to dump a whole lot of money into something that you might not get a return on trying to create it. To be something that pe- people know, but when it's a hit song, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like, you you can't tell that that's a hit until it's, it get out there. And I'm like, not necessarily. If you're an artist that have put songs out that you know what the audience like from you, you kind of know what to give them. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just like some of the bounce artists that come. Like, for instance, Subtweet Sean, he know like this is what they like from me. So he give you two, three. You know, he can come back with with, with two, three, four of them. When when Wildlife found out, oh, this is what them bitches like from me. Boom, he 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 own it. 
uh, super bad, all of them on. You go to Treaty, Treaty like did that that song. She come right back. Yeah, black. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Treaty. Yeah, she back with it again, like because she know, like you know what I'm saying. So you can't tell a person that know what the audience want from them that they don't know how to go back in the studio and create something that they'll like again. You know what I'm saying? Because they just know what people like from them. Like you know what I'm saying? So you you, you know you know when you are making a hit, bro, you can feel that shit. You know what I'm saying? Even before you hit the street, you're like bitch, this bitch. You know, not if you delusional because they got delusional right, people right, that right, think right. everything they do is hot. You know what I'm saying? But then they got artists that know like. This bitch gonna bang Cause I know when we was in the studio We used to be calling it But this bitch gonna hit Yeah This bitch gonna hit You know what I'm saying We made in a block party We knew that bitch was gonna Before work. anybody even heard it Before anybody heard it Just when we was making it And going back You know how you play it back And you're listening We were like Oh this bitch You know it brings chills through your body You know automatically man Why We couldn't wait to put that bitch out Cause we knew that we was gonna get a response off it That was and gonna a response, be And all them feelings that a nigga had The response came back made, Yeah made, right, right Made it be that for real Yeah right Like man we was We was on the road with Juvie when we came back, you know, when he, 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 you know, broke up the UTP thing and said he wasn't fucking with it no more, we came home. Off of doing a song with you, we knew, man, we got to make a hit. We said we got to make a hit. We come with so attractive. We knew it when right. we was making it. This bitch going to work. This like, you know what I'm saying? Put it out and it did with, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's hard for somebody to say a hit not made is marketed and all this type of stuff when you not probably an artist that have made hits, you know what I'm saying, or songs that people have bought into. Like, it's like you trying to tell a person that have done that what can't be done when they looking like, shit, we know, you know what I'm right. saying? You know, they, you know, we know what we're doing, like, you know? If you was an artist or CEO, or we continue being a CEO how we was from prior episode, and you had unlimited bread yourself, you had unlimited bread, what would be the first step... That you take with the artist, and how much will you been to use at the time that you be like, man, nigga, blow it up. Um, I was starting. Uh, first of all, I because what you're doing right now is giving a nigga a blueprint on. Right. Yeah, I will first record the song once I know this. Once we record the song, and I know the song is is, is you know we like it or we feel like it, it's got potential to do something. You know what I'm saying? I would uh. Market it out to all my DJs. I make sure I, I service all the media spots, meaning like radio, things of that nature. You know, I would put together a street team. Y'all make sure y'all hit the streets. So the whole going night. Back with today. I'm you going. going I'm, right. I'm, I'm, that's what I know. All that's right, all right, I know. Right, right, right. So you know, and we going in. We bringing. The, I'm bringing my DJ. I'm bringing my artists out to every hot night. To try to like, you know, now not, not you're doing small promo, meaning like you're not going to get paid for this, but we're about to introduce these songs to them, whatever, whatever. I've got to get a DJ, like let them, let them touch the mic. Like don't let them just, don't just play the song, let them perform the song so they can buy in tune. And then I let them rock that bitch like, you know what I'm saying? And we just keep doing that until we build a nucleus of people that saying they fuck with the song. Cause that's my test. Like, you know what I'm saying? Knowing like if I can get these people to rock with it, then I'm just going market to market. With the same concept, I leave New Orleans. I'm going to Baton Rouge. And yeah, I want to get it twisted because you ain't just talking about no local DJ. You talking about all my resources as DJs. We hitting them up. Big yeah, Bay, exotic. Everybody. Exotic. We, we hitting yeah, everybody. Yeah, now we servicing. We 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 servicing all our DJs, and then we going to touch our DJs so we could build some rapport with them so that they can get behind the record. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, you know right, saying? right. Because they gotta like you too. See, you know, everybody thinks just because you got a song, everybody should like you. No, they gotta like you. Your personality could be what was killing the song. Man, I don't like that little dude. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, you know, right. you got an attitude. You think he'll stall before he'll stall. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they yeah. got to start liking you, bro. You know what I'm saying? As they like you, they start playing your song, and then you go do them. Nah, like, real shit. You, you go do them <laughs> runs, them promo runs, and, and you come back, and then they become paid shows because it's been already proven. Once you then did, you know, went out there and did your promo or whatever, and they see that you got some type of effect with the people, they're going to be calling you back. And what's the time frame of that? And how much how much uh, money a nigga in at this time? Um, it depends on w- w- what's, what's the going prices. And for. what I paid for anyway. What you mean? What you paid for? I'm touching the DJs. I'm going here. Like what? What, what, did, what did I spend money on for you, spent, you? Like what you spent your bread on? I spent money on for you for the, promote the record. Like for these DJs to get behind the record. So the we paid line. them. We paid yeah. them DJs. Whatever I gotta pay. Right. Like you know, some DJs you don't have to pay. You know, directly because you might have a relationship with them. Right. Right. You know, right. a lot of people. 
come in the game thinking that money is everything and it don't always be about the money, it be about the relationship. You know what I'm saying? You build a relationship with these people and then they want to see you win. They want to see you blow. Like, you know, you take Cam here and there, but, it, you know, you'll go broke just trying to pay everybody for every single right, thing. Right. Some shit got to just be a real relationship and they genuinely like you, like, you know. And once you can get that kind of rapport built, you know what I'm saying, you know, you got to stay on it. Like, you know, you start setting goals. Three months, we're looking to do this. Six months, we're looking to do this. You know, by a year, we're looking to have this. Like, and then you kind of know where you at. Like, you'll know when to wash your hands. With what something. a nice song. What you, what you, what you thinking that it, like, the ballpark of the dollar amount for a nice song to try to get a nigga about this bitch? Oh, you're going to need some grand in this day and time, bro. You like, some, some real money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even. But that's features, a few features and everything, huh? Like, I mean, you know, if. if, get, if, get if, about if that, this bitch if, all the way. Yeah, if that's properly needed. So you're going to have to spend some, some, some real, real money. Like, you know what I'm saying? They got this new thing that go on. Where people just uh, put their song, they pay, they put their song on these playlists. Like it'd be the top playlist, All like right. you know, and and that's how people get recognized as well. But that come with some real bread, like you know what I'm saying. So what we don't have in the city of New Orleans that they have in a lot of other places is investors. Like you know what I'm saying. People not you, we had a lot of D boys that wanted to get out the game and they wanted to wash their money right. through music. Like today. The D boy is the rapper, <laughs> right? You know what I'm so he, they're the yeah, ghost investor. Yeah, you know, <laughs> not, their own shit. He might not even have no skill, but because he got money, he feel like I'm gonna be a made nigga because I'm just gonna rap. That just seem easy. Like why you know put my shit behind you when I can put it behind myself? But that ain't always. That's how niggas, yeah, that's how that, niggas rapping. That's why. That's why the D boy niggas rap. Yeah, but that ain't always the the real logic and what makes it work. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, a talented person can get you further than yourself if you invest that money to somebody who got some real talent. You know what I'm saying? That can come and do all kind of shit and, you know, write songs in seconds and, you know what I'm saying? And just really got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, think, you know. I just think that it's hard for that shit. It sounds good because I'm thinking like, damn. If a nigga come through and give you seventy five thousand, and I won't sign you just to my little label or whatever, or even to a big label, like and how the streams work, like how I'm gonna get my return, man? That's how I, I, I'm thinking. That's why. It's, uh, well, it's a it's a change game right now, and that's where I be kind of lost. Like I know the rules of like. Selling CDs and tapes and, you know what I'm saying, and really making the money off it. You know what I'm saying? We charging, we get $9 or whatever per CD. We you know, know we sell 9000 of these yeah, bitches. Yeah, we, we know got, what we got. Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Now, you still got to put a reserve on the side for returns and shit like that, but that's like a little small pot of money. We're going to wait till we get the returns to worry about that. But you, you, you got you to gotta <laughs> have the money there because all you're going to do is be, uh, it's going to be a chargeback on you like you're going to be in debt. Like, you know Charge what I'm saying? Charge me back, yo. So you put that little money on the side, it's called a reserve, and you put that on the side so that if you do have that, you got the money to cover that. You had you had put some reserve, huh? We we had we always had to have reserve. You know what I'm saying? Because people bring back a CD with scratch or you know or whatever may be the case coming straight from you know from the pressing plant. Like right, you know, right. it just came. It, it got a defect to yeah, it. Take two of these bitches, man. You know? Take two more of these bitches. You know, but you know, uh, but that's 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 pretty much how that game used to go, and that's how you could tell with the stream. And I just. Don't totally understand exactly how streaming pay. Like you know, what I'm saying that's why I haven't released music. Not that I don't want to release music. I'm like I'm not trying to release know. it for free. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I see a lot of these brothers. I'm still working off old shit, so I ain't in a super demand of like I gotta put something out to get some shows. You know, so I understand why some brothers be like, man, I'm just trying to get something bubbling so I can start making me some money some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? So you know, once you making money and you know. For, for doing shows and people booking you still, it's like right. I ain't in no rush to drop no music and don't really got this shit set up properly. You know what I'm saying? That's why they be saying people be needing a machine behind them because the machine got control of, you know, they know how to make the money and, you they know, know how they, they, back, huh? yeah, they know how to come back because they the ones who's... Who they <laughs> give them $3 million. They're like, how? We, we know... We, we we'll get twenty five million back. From you know, it's off them ads. Yeah. Like you know, what I'm saying we they, don't know. They know what they're getting paid, paid for per ad. Like you know that that you know in these songs or whatever. have is they they doing it. They know what they're getting out of it. I've been said that music is gonna go to the likeness of meaning like they're gonna start using your music to sell something else. Like right, they, right, you right. got a song, but it's gonna sell as commercial. It's gonna sell like you know and that's what they're gonna pay you big money for. They ain't paying you big money for. You know, a stream that directly, right. like it's it's more so like. So T Pain come on, they say, buy me a drink, 
That fucking Henry shit, <laughs> Henry shit came from. But that that's where the money. See what I'm saying? <laughs> they paid them big money for that. Like you see what I'm saying? So that's that's, that's likeness. Yeah, it's the likeness of you know uh, the song. What what it, what it could sell bigger? You know what I'm saying? Like Dr. Dre said, "Fuck, I could sell uh, headphones." You know what I'm saying, nigga? From I could use my beat and say, "Go buy these beat headphones." Right. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm selling something for one ninety nine compared to when I was getting nine dollars for something. You know what I'm saying? Right. So people people just gotta start learning to. You know, to to use their music a certain kind of way to get big money out of it, like because it's there. You know what I'm saying? They still need music. You know what I'm saying? But it's just for the likeness of bigger things that they're trying to sell. You know. Thanks. We going in. Just fall back, huh? Fall back. I'm gonna run this shit, man. You the man, is that? Fall back, huh? You the man, bro. Ain't gonna let you get sidetracked. Ah, huh? come the camera come go up. Ain't gonna do it. all thoughts, man. Come on, man. Got a lot of shit I'm juggling my nigga I'm a lot of shit right now brother. <laughs> oh, this nigga's You wouldn't want to walk in these Eight and a half dog If you think you can fit them uh, These niggas well Six and girls <laughs> Hey no look No real shit though like This shit we talking about About support And New Orleans and all that Like What What is the support method that will help all this out. Like what? Nigga, be like what? We need support. Like what's the method of support that I you think, need? I, I think that the artists that that'll help. That, I think I think that the artists that's uh doing it doing it. You know, got songs that the people like. People they all support them. They go see them. They 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 bumping it. They when they come on in the club, they fucking with it. They so that's, the, so the, that's the method of the support. Yeah, that's, 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 that's that what that's what every rapper want. But it's not. Every rapper's not entitled to it because you don't have the songs that, you know, people are buying to like that. They got the selected few of people that they fuck with. Even in the times when I came out, they had other rappers that didn't pop with nothing. They, fuck, they, you know what I'm saying? They probably were like, they don't support me. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see it that way because I, I had support. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, it, you know, it's what people like. Like I always say, bro, we throw something on the wall. If it don't stick, we back to the drawing board. Like, it, you know, it's, it's, you got the people going to, they're going to be like, I like that or I don't like that. That's as simple as it is. Now, when you say support the record that people may like, then that's when it's another thing. Like, meaning like, man, people like this record. Why you not playing it? DJ, why you not playing it? Radio. Right. You know, why y'all not covering me? Media. When y'all know this is a song everybody like. You see what I'm saying? So that's when you could say, I ain't getting the proper support or whatever may be the case. I never looked for, you know, fuck, I wasn't in the social media st- uh, side of it, but fuck, other rappers wasn't really pumping my shit to make me hot. It was the people. It was the people? Yeah, it was, it was just the people. We liked that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck, you know, they had us, UNLV, Jubilee, all these different, all the cheeky black, Miss T, we all these people. We like shit too. We, they, they like what they like. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't ever in that type of competition amongst each other. We was just so in the zone of doing what we doing to nigga ain't even see pretty much, you know, we'll notice it when we get there and they be like, well, that bitch roll. Or she cutting up or he cutting up. We see it then, but as far as like when we in the studio, you not in my mind. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking about the record that Jubilee made. If, 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 I, if I respect Jubilee, I'm like, look, we need to do a song together. That's the that's the most you're gonna get from it right there. Look, Jew, we need to do a song together. Chop up, bitch, you hot, bitch, we need right. to do a song together. Shit like that. But I wasn't in my mind looking like, why you ain't pump, pumping my record? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So social media done made it to where post my shit, you should be, all y'all should be posting my shit. Like, dude, I got my own shit I'm trying to post. I rap too. Like the same way you trying to get known, I'm trying to get known. Why you ain't posting my shit? Right. See, that's where the that's where all the problems come in because you want them to do something and they want you to do something. And everybody's still trying to do their own thing. Nah, bro, like, you know, if it's hot, it's hot. And let the people dictate what they like. They don't like your shit, they, you know. They don't like it. Start again. Try something else. Man, I ain't lying, bro. I don't know if a hundred percent feel like this, but I know it's close to a hundred, right? I just look at some shit, dog. No matter how much you grind, even like like, don't matter how much you grind, no matter how hard you work. I just look at some people, bro. Like it just you the chosen one. Like it don't matter. Like that's how I look. I'm talking about, bro. Like almost to a hundred percent, bro. Like it just when that person get on, bro. Just a chosen one, bro. That's why I got so many people. That play basketball and they good, 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 bro. But it's a cutoff number. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. He just wasn't the chosen one, bro. The team can only house so many people. And I just said, I think that's how it is with music, bro. That's why the whole world rap, and we got 20 main artists that, that really, that's big. 20. Right. Oh, you talking about billions of people who rap, bro, and, put, and, put, and upload on YouTube every day? You telling me it's only 20 people that we really know off our head? Meek Mills, Moneybag, Yo, Rifle 9, Lil Baby, Lil Uzi Vert, like niggas like that I can yeah. name out a billion people, bro, that right. load on this bitch? Right. It's just the chosen ones, bro, who get to that level, bro. And some people got to understand cool, that that, that level not for them. It, they they have You have a lane that you got to find a way to be like, this me. I, this is where I'm at. And I, I can live in this lane and I can make money, but I'm, and I'm, I'm still good. I'm still doing what I love. I'm not doing it to the height that they're doing it on, but I still I'm make cool. my coins and I got to learn to live within those means. You know what I'm saying? And... Long as you can find that little that little lane to be in, then you, you're all right because it, it might not be for you to go to the next next level. Like you know, so don't get discouraged on because you ain't get to where J Cole or anybody else at. Just be cool that man. I'm, I'm where I, I'm where I need to be at right here. You know what I'm saying? I got friends. I got people fucking with me. I'm good. I'm you know I got got me a nucleus of people that I can go and make money with every you know so so often. I'm I'm, I'm cool with that. Like you know. You know, I ain't saying I ain't saying I ain't saying don't strive, but don't get discouraged when it don't happen, bro. That's all I'm saying. When it don't happen, just don't. Is that don't making be, sense? Do you look at some shit like that? Like it's just you, the chosen one. You said bro. it. You said it. Listen, brother. It, it, you, I know. I know you heard this. Some people just got the it factor. You just got it. Got it, bro. You know, he ain't got to work as hard as you. He ain't got to do half the shit exactly. you got to do, and he and he own. But don't be mad at him because that's you know he got. Pick that way. That like, shit make know? people hate you, bro. That shit make yeah. people hate you. And it make them try to mimic you or get close to what you're doing. Or try to, like, design this shit or map it out just how you doing it. Because they think it's that. No, bro. It's the it. Yeah, it's just in you. Like you It's know not how. It's not because we got these fucking mics, bro. That these bitches nice and we paid a few dollars for them. You right. know what I'm saying? It's a nice setup right here, bro. But this setup is not, you know what I'm saying, making me be it. Right. It, yeah, it, 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 you are, you are you, you know what I'm saying, and that's that's what people have to just start learning to to deal with and understand. You have to be you, right? And if you can't, if, if the you and you don't get you to where you need to be at, then you need, maybe need to be doing something else. Because I think some people are doing the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody look at this this rap thing as a, a hustle, but it's really a business. You know, and I keep stressing that, uh, you know, every time I can pretty much say it, it, it's really a business, bro. And you can't hustle this business. Like, these these people got this shit organized a certain kind of way that they know what's what and what's going to work for them. Like, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. They have flops, too. You know, it, it, with, out of all the 20 artists that you talked about, they had a lot. They had hundreds and hundreds and thousands of other ones that they, this ain't going to work. We got to write them off. Write them off. That's going off on the taxes. Oh, we spent money on him and it didn't work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the ones that did work, they had a, a whole lot of them that didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So they just got to, you know, funnel that shit out, like, to, to what's what, like, and, and see what we got. Like, so we get a lot of y'all so we can find just one or two of y'all. Right, right. And and like you said back then, it was everybody on the show. Yeah. That was, that was, that was just a difference in... The way they do it now, the way they do it now, they you could pay five hundred dollars and get on the show in front of Meek Mills, and you terrible. And then they'll they'll let five of them do that. That's twenty five hundred. Yeah, they, you know that that's going towards that's part the of my bill. Woo, yeah, yeah, going you know, towards yeah. But it, what it does is it water the show down. You know what I'm saying? And but could it, you fault the hustler? No, I, I don't. You know, yes, yeah, somewhat I do fault them. You know what I'm saying? Because you know you don't have to. Go that way, you're gonna make this, your money. This, 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 a good, money. this is a good point right here. Bro. And, and this would what, what bring me to this right here, bro. Like, something for nothing. This, no, and, 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 and this, this bring, make me say that. This, exactly what we're talking about, make me say this right here, bro. Just because a nigga is in the business of the public, uh, artists, or uh, people come do whatever his operation is, whatever he's doing, promoter, DJ, whatever he's doing, bro, you know what I'm saying, and people from the public, like artists, you know, they, they, they fuck with him. Right. 
Bro, just because that dude don't got the mind frame of bringing people together, of being for the city, of doing it with a nigga, like, I want this artist to win, bro, nigga can't look down on him, bro, because all he worried about is his job. I promote, bro, and I make money, bro. I don't give a fuck about no New Orleans or no city, bro, uh, 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 none of that shit. You can't look down. Nothing is wrong with that person, bro. He ain't no hater. He is making money for his family and what he is determined to do. Right. He don't have to be with the New Orleans Woo, bro, and, uh, you're and, right. and, and and that's that's a bad thing that niggas from New Orleans do, bro. Like, just make your shit about everybody in New Orleans. This nigga, watch me build this shit, dog. As soon as the nigga was done, give me some of that. But nigga ain't help building nothing. Right? Yeah, I I I I, I don't knock a dude that feel like that's the way he need to make his money. I'm just saying for the people that saying New Orleans not doing this, not doing that. Well, become a promoter and bring that together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it done before. All I'm saying is that they get that that's a lane that's open to somebody that could be making money off that. They could be getting all these local artists, putting them together and, and making money with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got your eye on oh he brought Meek, he brought Rick Ross, he brought Jay Z, he brought no, you know, you not on you know you might not be on that level. But they got another they got a lower level that still got money there. That you could be making money off of, like you know what I'm saying? That's 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 a job that's open that somebody is not fulfilling because everybody is almost like everybody want to be this big rapper where everybody want to be this big promoter too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So some of them guys get together and pool their money to do big shit too. You know what I'm saying? You got twenty, you got you know. It don't always collectively be one dude. It be a, a team of people that's pooling their money together to, to do something big. But they still got that lane that's wide open that. The smaller shit that okay, they they, they did three thousand people. All right, you might get a venue that didn't do three four hundred people and still make some money. It's wide open. Nobody's just not using it. And all I was trying to do is give game to let people know, man, y'all could do that. Like y'all saying, like for the ones that's angry about it and saying that they're not doing nothing right. for New Orleans. Well, we need you know become a promoter, get one of your partners to promote to bring all of it together. It could be you, the artist. You know what, bro? I'm gonna get Jay Austin. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get you. You know, I've seen people try to do it, but you got to do it with the hottest artist. You can't just do it with because I like him, man. They got. I'm telling you, some of that shit be like, I don't really care for dude. I don't really like him. Him like that, but at the end of the day, I ain't gonna stop my money because of that. Like, I just think the him. mentality, bro, book in this him. city, and, and I'm not against nothing changing, bro. But I just speak the real, and sometimes my opinion is just the real, and that's all it is. It's a real opinion that I stand behind. I think when the nigga say that shit, that New Orleans shit, bro, it just sound good. It's just part of my woo, bro. Only niggas who say that shit, it got something to offer, something to gain from saying that at the moment. Man, we need to come together. Yeah, I got these tickets for sale. It's always something like that, because in the back of your head, that nigga who a nigga mad at from not worrying about the city, I can't have that stigma. So I got to fit in with the keep. So I won't have that stigma. Up. I'm just a nigga who won't make money for my family. I got to fit in. Man, we got to come together. But really, I'm just doing exactly what that nigga doing. That's the real mentality of us. Man, we over here, we going to do it for us, man. Fuck them niggas. But I can't just come off like that. So I just got to say, man, bring the city together. Nigga worrying about their fucking self, man. Ask uh, Subtree Sean, is he, do he get support? Huh? I say, ask Subtree Sean, do he feel like he gets support? You know what I'm saying? It, it, you'll hear, you'll, you'll hear a different you're a chosen one rebuttal. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm just saying, just ask any of them dudes that's working if 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 they feel like they're not getting supported. And it's when only you put the out it's, good it's, music. It's, when you put out good music, it's something that a person vibe with. You putting out something that a person like, bro. Right. I've been telling all this Support or not I like that song I like the song You made I don't know if you call it Support or not bro But I like the song And if you The next one you made I liked it that one too Right You know what I'm saying Subtweet Shout out to them And uh, Tease it You know what I'm saying You put out another one I liked it I don't know if I'm supporting you But I know you're making Some good shit That I'm fucking with That's that's all That's that's what it's about You know what I'm saying You like it And that's that's, It turns into support No I'm saying that It turns into support Right But I'm saying that For a nigga saying Man we don't support like people from New Orleans support. Maybe you just ain't dropped that song, bro. That you didn't. a nigga like, you man. You didn't, bro. You, you, you that's, didn't, that's bro. all it is. You, you didn't, didn't, bro. That's that's the facts on <laughs> you it. Didn't. You just you didn't, didn't drop it, bro. You didn't drop the song we like. We <laughs> when we like it, we gonna fuck with it. That's New Orleans. That's always been just the hardest market. 
I, I just don't I don't have that same feel. I take the good with the bad. You know what I'm saying? I got some shows be off the chain. I got some shows that <laughs> ain't nobody there. You know what I'm saying, dude? It, it, it's the nature of the business. You know what I'm saying? It's the nature of the business. Some of the greats then said, man, I done went to the show. They had 30 people in that bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuck with it. And now they doing arenas. You know what I'm saying, bro? So, and that's why the content in the social media is important, bro. Because you don't have to depend on solely where you from, bro. To, right. for, for people to like your song and to get some traction. Bro, it's so many people on YouTube, bro. You can get 10000 from Missouri, bro. You can get 3000 from Texas. You can get 8000 from Indiana. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, your section don't have to be, like, determined if you... Hot or you blow or you make some money or not off your crap, bro. There's so many other people out there. And that's the main thing who's going to be your support because that's why the saying is support don't come from familiar faces. Right. I'm about to, I'm about to pick it back off that with this. They didn't have social media when we came out, right? But what they did have was colleges. And that was our social media because what was happening was, was this. That's a good point. When we go to these colleges and people coming from all these different places and Small they get familiar with the song, they take that Good, back. Man. This is what they bumping in New Orleans. And yeah. they bring that bitch to wherever they wherever live they at. From. And that became social media. That's how the spread works. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I've been telling artists that, any artists that ever talk to me, I always say, man, work the college market. The street's going to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? But work that college market. That's where you got a nucleus of kids at high schools and, you know, shit like that where they got a nucleus of people that's talking about the same song. <laughs> You heard that song, blah, blah, blah. They trading off shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in the streets and all that kind of shit, man, niggas doing so much other shit, they bumping pretty much what they already like. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, they right. ain't trying to get on nothing new, but with these little young people that's in schools and colleges, they got nothing to do but they talk about. something new. They talking about, you, oh, you heard this? Oh, this song roll. And then when everybody get on and they go home, they, they take that back home. And this, then, and that's then what they do in New Orleans. That's the really shit, bro, because... It, it it don't be like, bro, a person wake up in the morning and be like, damn, I got to find somebody on Instagram to support today. You, you understand? No, that's not, got, that's that's not, not how, how it goes, right, bro. Right. It's on some shit that I walk out the shower and my motherfucking son, he is blasting some shit right. to where I'm fucking, I, I'm like, I get out there, but he's like, this nigga tripping, this nigga listen to anything. Uh, get out there, but like. What that is? Boy, what you, boy, what that, boy, what is that? Right. Oh, this said, this said, where you from? Oh, you from Florida? This said, this said, oh, where you from? He from, boy, I get in my car. Looking for that, right. Boy, I'm bumping that. That's how it goes. I, I didn't wake up like, man, what let I'm me a, find a nigga to yeah. support music. No, Make right. some hot shit, man. And right. let it come to a nigga how it come to a nigga, bro. That's all we doing at the end of the day. We grinding, we grinding, we grinding, grinding, bro. And everything not going to be for everybody, bro, who watch the content. Right. You know what I'm saying? They fuck with us, but every episode that we drop, bro, it ain't going to be for them. It's just right. how it going to go, yeah. bro. It be the, it maybe the topics ain't what they own they ain't what or I'm whatever. Yeah, I ain't looking Compared for that. this one up, but I fuck with them niggas. Maybe yeah. I catch Thursday on them, right. but I ain't into that. Right. And, Gonna put out some more. We gonna we gonna put out so many, bro. We gonna catch it. Yeah, right. <laughs> really we gonna like something. more yeah, yeah. than you don't, don't like. like. You know right, what I'm saying? That's right. the method, bro. Right. And that's 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 the science of it, right there, bro. You you said everything right there. You put it all in the and you know the nothing caboose all together, like because that's what makes the difference. Like you know what I'm saying? People gonna like what they like and they are gonna buy into what they want to buy into. You know what I'm saying? Right. And everything got its own time limits on when it happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, sometimes you can't say this one. This this one is going. You might say that, but that it might not work right then and there. You know what I'm saying, man? You know how many songs a nigga done did that wasn't even worried about, and that was the song that people bought into. Like you know, it'd be shit like that. Like you know, you 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 looking to go this way, and it didn't took you a whole other way because this is what the people like. Like you know what I'm saying? So as an artist, and you start learning that shit, you start saying, "Oh, this is what my fans want from me," and then you start learning how to produce more songs that cater to what they're doing. Like I said, the ones who winning, they understand that. The ones who have been getting some kind of uh, love and support in the city They understand This is what they like And this is why they keep doing it like, And you know? I see a lot of niggas Who not winning They is shy Is a motherfucker They got the big ice They got everything <laughs> Because you, 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 prior, you ain't prioritizing The priorities right. You know what I'm saying It's like bro The image is overpowering The money that you spend On your craft Right You, 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 you understand what I'm saying right. bro Like 
Nah, man. That's why you hear all these people with these success stories. Oh, man, shit, I was in the basement. Oh, I was sleeping in the car just writing music because they got it. Bro, like, nah. I ain't got it. I don't need to look like I have it when I don't have to, when I don't have it. Cause I'm spending all my money to look like a rapper, and then I'm mad at a nigga because he left me on scene for the podcast. Right. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't spun, bitch. I didn't went to sex. They know my name in that bitch. I didn't went to space. I didn't pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. talking about these bitches, these lavins, man. I'm talking about the fat ones. Yeah, I got the big boys on. Right. Yeah, man. I got the receipts on this bitch. <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm posting this. By the gas station pop and drinking lean. Big points. Right. I'm right. turned looking like a rapper. All yeah, it's a kit. I got my piece. You know what I'm saying? It's a rapper kit. Got the kit. Got the starter kit. Man, why y'all ain't fucking with me, dog? You ain't got the song. You ain't got the song. Oh, uh, it's going to be this amount. Oh, these niggas trying to charge a nigga. Man, you got $4,500 on. And you asking a nigga, put you on Sorry, the... Man. Yeah, put me on the stage. Sir, man, put me on the podcast. Yep, nigga don't want to pay eight hundred thousand dollars, five hundred for get on the podcast, nigga. You want a big which for what you think you need the most, bro. But Ooh, that you was went real. Spent, Ooh, that you know was, what I'm that saying? Was, that was that was hard, right, nigga. So you want a big for what you need the most, right? And spend all yeah, your brain on yeah. what you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. Niggas Do the say, same pants sometimes with a different tee. You, right. you, know, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to roll like that, bro. Yeah, I, 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 my nigga Young said, uh, this chain costs $12, but I can fuck your whole for 12 hours. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was just letting you know, nigga, I come from nothing. But I'm doing this shit, but it goes back to the it. When you got it, you know what I'm saying? You can say that. (laughs) You can say shit like that. You know, it's it's, it's, nobody like looking down on you from it. You know what I'm saying? Because they respect like, you know what I'm saying? Your all form and what you're giving the people, bro. So, you know, dig in, bro. Tap in for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? This shit is only for a selected few of people. You know what I'm saying? To be that nigga, bro, you're going to have to put in that type of work and you're going to have to... You just gotta gotta have it, cause if you don't, you know what I'm saying. You know you you're gonna be spinning your wheels. You ain't gonna never get to where you're trying to go because people gonna see through that shit that you ain't what it is. And and, and I don't want to get it twisted, brother. It's it's the it, and everybody ain't gotta have the it. But with substitute the it, it's the drive factor. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have drive, bro. Nigga, nigga baking on five years with this shit in July. You, you know what I'm saying? And they be like, man, we fuck with them, nigga. but bro, nigga. You probably didn't even know about the podcast when they were getting 69 yeah, views I I, in I a month. You, I told you how I came across. You, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, on nigga, whole, nigga I, 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 came across, I came across no rap care podcast on a whole nother platform. Right. Nigga that was on um, Clubhouse. Clubhouse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I even like knew that it exists. You know what I'm saying? At the time. So, yeah, you know, so, but, 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 but I'm also saying by using different avenues, that's how people get exposed as well. Like that's that's that goes back to me saying you can't just be on one thing thinking right, that right, that's right. how it's gonna work. Nah, nigga, nigga, niggas find out about you multiple ways. So you gotta like cover everything that you could possibly cover so that you can get out there, you know, to the level that you want to be on. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know how people come across you or, or how they find out about you. And and we won't be knowing how people are gonna come across, you know, when they when they hear us on the podcast from time to time, but. If a nigga watch enough podcasts, bro, some like I say, sometimes you're not gonna like all of them. But if a nigga watch enough podcasts, bro, you will kind of stop, start to see like what type of person, uh, what type of logic that you be on, uh, your whole method of how you think. You know what I'm saying, as far as the yeah, views, you yeah. know what I'm saying. So when niggas see little clips and little podcasts and try to make assumption of man who you is or what you doing, like I don't even pay attention, bro, because that I mean. You don't know, nigga. We don't get on the podcast, bro. Our intentions, even through our opinion, is on a positive vibe. I'm right. talking about that's our intentions. Right. So it shouldn't come across to you in no other way, bro. If you watch the podcast, even if it's something that don't resonate with you, just know it's not our intentions. Right. To you know what I'm saying? Come, come across to you, head, like yeah. you know what I'm saying about man. You you in this, bro? You close on it, bro? You all you all nah, bro? We just you know Some, sometimes people just don't like your woo, bro. They, just, they just don't like your woo. They don't like your your the way you get up, the way you move. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, he feel like he know it all because you may be confident in what you may speak. You know, you know. Nah, you, that's real, man. You know, because you're confident in what, what you, you say, speak, just, man. Yeah. Yeah. Man, you got to see that again. Yeah, they just don't like you because, you know, you confident in how you speak. Man, and and that can make some nigga look like, man, I don't like that nigga. Like, why? Because you, you, you don't got the same confidence? Because you wouldn't, you know, couldn't say that? 
Or couldn't say it that way You know what I'm saying You mad at this man for And see he arrogant Nigga ain't <laughs> arrogant Nigga confident In who he is You know what I'm saying And sometimes people Mix that up They mix, they mix up confidence With being cocky You know what I'm saying Or conceited Or whatever may be the case Nah nigga I'm good in my skin And I speak from a level Of like right or wrong You gotta show me I'm wrong I can say the wrongest shit Right here And be still confident In what I'm saying right, Until right, you show right. me different But that's the kind of person I am and that's the kind of person you is. You know and, what I'm saying? And, 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 and you got to go with the logic of the the impact and the, the conversation that a nigga having when he just on their daily life. Like, it might not resonate to you and it rubbed you the wrong way, my opinion. But I know I'm speaking logic because I just seen 10 niggas this week. Bitch, that shit you was talking about, me. Yeah, they related. Oh. They related. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's the more people, bro. Right. That's, that's, what that's what I that's judge. What that's what I judge. That's, that's what I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Some people just focus on that one negative thing. Like, you know, they get a negative comment. They, oh, oh, oh. Man, I'm looking at the love, like, you know what I'm saying? Because, they, they, you know, we get way more love than hate. Like, you know what I'm saying? For the little hate that do come across, man, that shit don't really bother me like that. It used to, right. you know what I'm saying? Because that's where I was at at one time. But as I, got, you know, got more involved in what I'm doing, I'm like, nah, man, they got way more love than the hate. Like, you know, and when I see it in the streets, it be love. Like, you know what I'm saying? The ones that don't say nothing, yeah, keep your mouth quiet. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, I respect right. that too. You know what I'm saying? But for the ones who come up to a nigga, man, keep doing what y'all doing. That's the motivation that keep a nigga like, let's go do it. Come on, guys, bitch. Right, it's time. right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Podcast time. You know what I'm saying? What we talking about, you know? And then and then, bro, what it got it about? got like and that's why it was intentionally I lost my phone, uh, got another number and shit. But sometimes shit be cool and sometimes I'll be I don't need to feel like I don't want to reach out back to certain people and like, bitch, this is my new number. Like, like, cause it's certain shit, bro. Like just, I have partners and I don't you don't show the support or show the the. You don't let me know that you watch the podcast. Uh, you're not in the chat. Uh, you, you you know I don't ever see your comment on there. But since that you're my partner somewhat and you got my phone number, you're sending me paragraphs about every show, bro. You you, you like, but you're doing it in like in a critique way, like you're using it as a constructive criticism. But you're really just hating on the nigga, bro. You don't watch it for real. I don't see your comment on that. I don't see your light. You, you never said that was a good one, bro. Right. Just always writing me paragraphs about some negative shit that I could have said, yeah. uh, should have said. Uh, why you saying this? Like that's the fake shit that I don't, I can't deal with, bro. So I'm like, nah, bro. I just. Yeah, the nigga see the glass half full on you every time. Yeah. Every, I mean, half empty. Every time, sir. It's half empty, bro. No, every time. Yeah, you know, but that's 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 the nature of some people, bro. They like like all they can see is the wrong and whatever wrong, you're doing. Yeah. They can't see the right. You know what I'm saying? Because they critiquing you to. I'm gonna hit that nigga with this. I'm gonna tell him this. Shit. Like this can make it better. You know what I'm saying? They think it's coming from a right perspective, but bro, if you ain't giving me the good, what what I'm doing good? What am I doing good that you could say good about it, even if you're going to come with... Because usually if you're going... If, if, if it's constructive criticism, you're trying to tell a nigga, like, listen, y'all killing me. I got to explain it to you first. Like, bitch, let's get this out of the way. Before I even say this part... Bitch, it's official. Yeah. Don't change nothing up, bitch. That's how they get you. Nigga about to tell you everything to change up. But, but in, in this... Bitch, don't, don't change. change nothing. But what you only could really, really work on, though... Nigga, they told me to change up everything. Mm-hmm. Started that bitch off with, boy, you and me, that don't change nothing. Y'all just need another podcast. <laughs> Y'all need to dump that and try it again, bro. Start some other shit, man, because, you know, it really, <laughs> you know, I've tried to fuck with y'all. <laughs> But it, y'all, it be, working, y'all be missing on some shit, like you know what I'm saying. But you know, like 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 I said, anything come with work, bro. You know what I'm saying? Time it only get better, and I've been hearing that from people, and that's people that's been watching. And when they, you know, when they tell me like, but you and Gas then got better. Y'all gelling a lot more. You know what I'm saying? Y'all 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 be on you know on key with this shit. So you know, like I said, come in time. You know what I'm saying? It's knowing somebody, learning somebody, and you start knowing like you know I could down and look at you now and know he about to. <laughs> we about to, it's going off, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's about to be the end. <laughs> about to be, it's over with. It's over with. Yeah, sure you know, that one time, I didn't, know, I, I didn't know that at one time. You know what I'm saying? But now, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, through, through, through time and working, you, you start learning the person. You know what I'm saying? And you become better, you know? If you ain't getting better, then you should, should stop. You should stop. Fucking right. You can be the dead horse. Yeah, give it up. Some, hey, I ain't lying, bro. Some niggas, bro, they need a job. You really need a job. It, in all lanes, it, right? It, 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 no music, bro. Like, stop it today. Like, right. 
job, college, right? Yep, trades, right? It, job court, military, like yeah, rap. I agree. Negative. I that, agree. Some that's people, a negative. Yeah, some people just don't got nothing. I ain't even say it. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you be like, I, I, my fucking um inbox be flooded with shit, bro. And I be looking like. Bro, y'all know what I got going on. Like, n- nigga ain't never telling me nothing about the podcast they, or, or nothing with me with rap. They just sending me day shit all, right. all day long. Like, Fuck you know what I'm saying? And I be like, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I we don't talked know. talked about they, one thing. Nigga say they do that. We didn't say they did. They did. We just said who. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, what right. the right. fuck? Yeah, you know, niggas are judges off a clip. We put up clips. Clip, like, like, explain to a nigga what a clip is about, bro. Because cause it's like a movie, bro. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when nigga putting a movie out, and they, and they run a trailer or, 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 or you know or advertisement to let you know the movie coming, they're not letting you know the whole movie. Right, they give me a little piece of and that. And you can't make a comment off the fucking trailer or nothing like that to be like, oh, this bitch. Like you don't know enough about the movie yet. You know what I'm saying? But people like tend to look at the clips. And then swear to God that they know exactly what the podcast is going to YouTube, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. YouTube, see how we coming, see how we living in the bitty. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop playing. Yeah, it's like, listen, you know, I know we be talking about New Orleans and the music scene and things of that, that nature, you know what I'm saying? But I want I to switch it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because this shit been on my mind and, you know what I'm saying, I've just been thinking about it, you know. So they got, you know, predators, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people that, Prey on young girls or whatever may be the case, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know it goes around. It's just it's like a normal thing. Even in my day and time, like this is just how it was. Like you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, older dudes. Hey, no, listen, listen. I gotta stop you. I gotta stop you, dog. Because look, look, dog. I gotta stop you, bro. I went and checked the mailbox yesterday. Uh, not yesterday. The day before, you know, the day before Easter, they had mail. Sad day, bro. I know it was street. Things in the, about people who registered they Sex shit, offenders. bro. Man, dog, I've been speaking to this nigga. Walking the dog, bro. Hmm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Right. I've been speaking. Bro, that nigga was in the mailbox, bro. Right. Predator. Right. I had to sit, dog. Yeah, they got a lot of it around us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't even... Do what they're supposed to do because it's an embarrassing thing or whatever. Maybe the Sign kids up? don't want... Yeah, yeah to, to do it. Some Some people just... Tend to not to even put it out there because it's embarrassing. Like you know, yeah, what I'm saying? some people don't got Trump charges. The whole nine, just they, you know, it's a fucked up situation. But you go to jail for that shit. Yeah, I don't think it's your yeah, report. You, you do too many times. You do, but you know, sometimes people are moved by somebody else. Like they don't even really know I'm here. They're not putting it out. Right, you know right, what I'm right, right, right. Oh, right, right. right. They got ways around. It. Yeah, they got ways around it. So they, they you know, Never. it's not your registered <laughs> right, right. address. You yeah. going. You buy your girl, you know what I'm saying? You stay with her now, you know what I'm saying? Your, your, your address is by your mama, but you don't found a girl, you live with her now. You're not about to go put that out not in by her girl, neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Put that by mom. Send that, yeah. by, Send that by mom. I ain't even around here. Predator. I'm not even around here. <laughs> you know? already know me. Right. So, you know, but I'm saying, like, that shit goes on, like, and it, it, it's, it's, it's all around us, like, you know what I'm saying? So, but what fuck my head up is that, you know, they always look at it from the male perspective of, like, you know, you're a predator. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they got other predators that I think people haven't been as aware of that's around us too. Yeah. And it's, it's it's the butch dykes, you know, older women or whatever, whatever they call themselves, because I'm not trying to disrespect them as what they call themselves, but whatever they want to go by. Predator. They, but it's a predator because right. they prey on little girls the same way. The same way that older dudes do young, yeah, with the younger girls. So people don't really talk about that side of it. You know what I'm saying? But this, this the climate when you don't want a woman. You don't want to, you. It's all right that you a dyke and, and you a butch or whatever you is, but you don't want the woman of your caliber, your age. You know what I'm saying? No, you are praying on. You the, want the, the young, young ones and turning them out. You know, giving or them even some, on that side of fence, the they're coming out a little bit already, and you just turn them up all the way up. Or, or some of them do the same thing that you know. You know the guys do like you know like the coach give on. you give you stuff that you you know you you won't be a woman you know what I'm saying like you know I'm, I'm gonna give you something you don't got yo I got your uniform I can take care of that for you oh you need this for school yeah right. man he got some school money baiting you in you baiting you in oh this person love me like you know what I'm saying I'm 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 finding like ways that 
what you missing and I'm giving it to you like you know what I'm saying that's what predatory guys do to young girls they they find out oh you ain't got no dad at home or oh, you you know yeah, I, I take care of that yeah you know now they got them doing all kind of shit with them because they they saying you to to be with a person of my caliber you got to level up this will you want to be a woman yeah this is what women do I'm trying to make you into a woman I'm grooming you I'm bro. grooming you really yeah. you know what I'm saying so they have predatory women that do the same thing to young girls like you know what I'm saying and I think it's something that's going unnoticed like people be wondering like damn how this happening what's going on but not knowing that they got these kind of females that's actually out here doing the same thing to these girls as well is it foul on the grooming side if you up in age cause this I didn't see this happen you up in age and a female or vice versa uh, 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 vice versa but you don't you 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 don't uh, deal with her on no sexual level or deal with her in that matter until she reached that age. I didn't see people. It's, that. it's all a form of grooming. It still was predatory because you only protecting yourself from not going to jail. See, that's the only side that you cover. Like I can't get caught with this little girl at this age, you know. But as soon as she make it cross the age, I already groomed her into what I wanted to be. To when she get the right age, now I can go with the moves I want to go with them. It's still predatory. It's still you was preying on them. You still played on them. You still groomed them into something you want them to be for you. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why you didn't mess with them when they was younger is because you know if I get caught with her at this age, I'm gonna go to jail. It's a it's a possibility I can go to jail. So I'm gonna just wait till they get to this certain age and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna turn up the way I wanna turn up. It's all the same act. Right, 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 you know right. right. Your still intention still Yeah, it still was wrong. Like you still was doing the same shit that, you know, that's still a predatory act, like towards somebody. It wasn't back at the time she was that way, but you groomed it and waited. Yeah, you so waited. Still, yeah, you know, they got guys that role. do that too. Right. Like, they'd be like, man, that little girl, wait till she get up to, you know, I've heard dudes say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that little girl, yeah. nice, fine. Ooh, she gonna be cold. Ooh, wait till she make 18. Talking to everything. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, man, hell, man, go get you something, man. Ooh, you know, like, but they ain't never mess with them sexually until they got to a certain age where they know, like, I already had her. I had a mind. Is it a limit on that? I- uh, above age is it still a limit? Even if even if the chick above age, is it still a limit too young? If you forty five, because some people still look at it like she an adult. She twenty one. She an yeah. adult. That's how. That's how. That's cool. But I was like, man, you forty five, but you can't mess with no twenty one year. They say for your frontal lobe to be fully developed, you got to at least be twenty five years old. So that's letting you know that the, the person is not maturely. At a, at a pace that they should be at with somebody that's forty seven years old, like you know what I'm saying. If you got, if you can, if you got, if you can make a kid and be the same age as this person, like look like to me that should be off limits. You know what I'm saying? Because it look like y'all shouldn't have nothing in common. What you into? The type of music you into? Your stories? All that? Hard acting, silly and dumb. It should be a turn off. Like you should be, man. That look at too fucking stupid. Like you know, like it should be where I'm at in life. But the image of her, the like. The image of it is with making you fuck with her. She's 25, she's 23, she's 22. She, that, that, that's eye candy to you. Yeah, but it's that's also... What you, that's what you love. That's what you're attracted to. You're but, attracted to nice females but, that just happen to be younger. She she, she legal. She's 25, but you 45. She legal. Is, is that considered as a predator or... I mean, she she legal, but she's old enough and she's, you know, at an age to make decisions right from wrong. And shit? I mean, depending, depending on the, the way you... Going at her Like you know what I'm saying Like if you got a predatory Act to water You don't genuinely love her You don't really like her You know what I'm saying You wanna she, She's a sex object for you It's still predatory to me Because you still You know Like I'm gonna I'm a freak this little girl out I'm gonna do this You know what I'm saying Like you already know She's like, 21 oh my, You're in the club Having a nice time Man You girl Boy I want you like, some, some of them be so wild That it, it, it don't be From a predatory act Like the girl be more on, Trying to fuck the man You know Or so, the so person that, So that's cool That's cool yeah, That yeah. being 45 And this 20 year old, 21 year old chick She all on you In the club And like boy I'm coming home with you 21 you 45 That's no predatory So that's cool I, I, I would say If you're not if you don't have a predatory act to no, war, she on you. She yeah, she on you. Like can't. you know, it, it, yeah, it, 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 it's 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 fair game, I guess, because she's a, she's grown, she's old enough. It's to, only if you trying it's, to portray. It's that like when move. you trying to like right, do I see where you at with it. wrong acts like that towards somebody because they got people that you know twenty seven years old like older people like they don't even be interested in. Right. Guys, their age, they're just like I like older guys, like you know what I'm saying, and they feel like that's that's what turn them on, that's what their interest is, you know what I'm saying. But they're not. It's uh, the stability 
I think it's more play a part with the some, older some, guys. Some of them be wanting the, uh, mm-hmm. the stability in it. Like, you know, that that's what they see as, as the, some of them want to fall the figure in you. Like, you know, it's different reasons yeah. on why certain people mess with certain people, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, like I said, what makes it wrong is that, you know, it could be statutory to a level if she's right. a minor. Right, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you shouldn't even be entertaining her. But if she's grown enough and she's coming on to you like that, you know, it's like, hold up. Yeah, man, you predatory. You know she's young. Nigga, know you wrong. That's when they go to saying, yeah, I love you wrong. I don't want to be right. Age <laughs> ain't nothing ain't ain't but a number. You know, <laughs> shit like that. But like I say, when it comes down to the mentality of a person having real conversations, Real conversations and shit that people build something on. Like sometimes you just don't have nothing in you common. You like my interest, man. I, you, you, I ain't interested. You, you ain't got nothing in common. Like you silly. Like you know. Like you know. If you got to keep telling the girl, like what you going out with your friends again? What you know? She's doing young girl shit. Right. Are you mad, man? You shouldn't be fucking with her, right, bro. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Because she's enjoying her life at the age bracket she should be doing this, and it's turning you off because really you're too old to be fucking with her. Really, if you was running her age bracket you'll probably be out doing the same shit she's doing. Doing. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you want to control her, bring her in. You want her to act like you want her to be old because you like her little body shape. And, right, right, right. You know, so you want to try to bring her in like she 35, 40 yeah. years old. You know what I'm saying? They don't walk her home and be put Ben Gay on it. Put be Ben, ben Gay on the motherfucking old lady because nigga don't want that. Right. You know what I'm saying? She 52, you, know, you 45. Yeah, you ain't trying to go inside like that, man. You still trying to maneuver out here. I mean, I, I understand it. I, I understand. You honeyed up. I understand. <laughs> you honeyed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand, you know, certain men mentality toward that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're a dude that's into the mental state of people, like, uh, you know, conversations and talks, and, you know, it ain't just based around sex, you know what I'm saying? She's going to eventually turn you off because her, right. her age going to show up. No matter how mature you say shit, that little girl mature for her age. Going to show up. Oh, she could do some dumb, silly shit. She could be like, man, this is- she gonna yeah. show up. Yeah. She gonna show up. Oh, she's twenty one, bro. It's bound to happen. Like you know, what I'm saying, like she ain't live long enough. Like so, some of that shit gonna start showing up. She you know, gonna show what I'm saying? Up. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you got to live. No matter what the fuck you start talking about, it gonna show up. Right? Yeah. Man, you know, so that's, that's you know, a real shit. Yeah. So you know, people gotta understand that side of it. But if you're an immature man, you silly, you dumb, you you're an old fool. Right. You ain't never learned nothing. Ain't, you just got older, but ain't nothing changed about you. You know, you, that if might it be. Ain't right. It gonna show up. Yeah, no matter you know, what you try to portray. Yeah, if you it know, ain't right. Yeah, it ain't. Right. <laughs> it ain't gonna show up. It ain't gonna line up. It ain't gonna line up. It ain't lining it up, man. I'm talking about. I don't know about all the other days, but on Tuesday, Thursday, seven p.m. Mm-hmm. We gonna show up. Right. No rap cap podcast. <laughs> I go with gas to hate him, man. There you go. I'm Mr. Meat of the Instagram. You already know what to watch. Man, watch this. Don't watch that other shit. Yeah. Y'all Boom. not. Y'all not. Howard. Y'all being real about what y'all doing. So. <laughs> 